everyone, welcome to K-pop Queen for your non-daily reactions to all things K-pop. And I finally have another drama shop talk for y'all. Sorry, I have been so behind on this regular segment. Oh God, I lie a lot. I don't know, guys. Anyway, gonna talk about the business proposal, which was the latest drama that I watched. It is a fun little twelve episode drama um, based on a webtoon. We got a lot of people in this drama. Let me just tell you, star studded cast. We've seen all these faces before, okay? So they're gonna be regulars in our dramas going forward word right so it is starring on Hyo Sub, Kim Sejong, Kim Min Kyu, and Seoul In Ah. The reason why I watch this drama I'm sure you guys know I was on TikTok and I saw that little glasses scene if you know what I'm talking about I saw the glasses scene happening and I said where 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 are we where are we doing this how how let me let me just let me just um put this on right now let me see what's going on Oh, right, the business proposal. And I really did like this drama. It is a very cutie little rom-com drama. Um, No action. Very, like, classic K-drama, if you ask me. Um, I think they hit, really, all of the classic points that you would get in a rom-com. So if you're looking for something different, I wouldn't do this. I'm sorry. If you love the typical K-drama tropes, this for you. And it's only 12 episodes, so you will run right through this. I ran right through this. I mean, I started watching when... Um, eight episodes had come out and I was just like next 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 I really truly enjoyed this it it, it uplifted my mood it's, it's it's a fun fun drama um a fun little um rom-com so like I was saying it stars Kim Sejong she plays our female lead Shin Hari and then it also stars on Hyo Sub he plays our male lead he is Kong Tae Moo this is a very convoluted drama and it's hard to say in words there's like a lot of flips like she's lying and then he finds out but then she doesn't know that he knows that she's lying it's a lot of like he doesn't know she knows like a lot a lot of back and forth sort of stuff so i could tell you the plot but if i say it, it's gonna be too many words so i just say either read the synopsis right or just watch it like I, it's it's just it's too many he said she said she's lying he knows all this sort of stuff but it's it's good i promise you it's very good now, I know that a lot of times you'll hear that and be like, oh, not this conflict to drive the story. They resolve it quickly. They resolve it very quickly. It's only used to drive the plot for a little bit, and then we keep it chugging. So trust me, it's not convoluted forever, but, you know, that's the basis of it. Okay, so as I was saying, An Hyo Sub, our male lead, playing Kang Tae Mu, and Kang Tae Mu is the CEO of Go Food. You know, he's your classic table, like, very rich, old money, grandpa with him, you know, running the company, all sorts of stuff. He has a very tra tragic backstory, which, you know, makes him, it, it makes his character a little bit more understandable and why he is the way that he is. Um, but when you first meet him, you're kind of like, oh, he's kind of a stick in the mud. Why is he so uptight all the time, you know? But you figure things out about him as the story keeps going and you see why he's like this, right? And then Kim Se-jung, she plays Shin Hari. She works at Go Food uh, Company. She's on the food development team. She's like a very nice girl, friendly, amiable, bubbly, you know, trying to help her parents. The classic eldest daughter of a family, you know, a regular, regular family. We also have Kim Min Hyuk in this. He plays Cha Sung Hoon, who is like the brother to uh, Kang Tae Mu. I use that in quotes. You'll figure that out, okay? You'll see why I use that in quotes eventually. But, um, very close to him, very, very close. He is his, like, assistant and helps him pretty much run the company and stuff. He is also slightly misunderstood. His character has also been through a lot. Um, and so you kind of wonder why he makes these decisions um, and why he just won't say what's on his mind or why he won't just reveal certain things about himself. You'll see why he's like that um, eventually. But it is kind of infuriating because you're like, well, boy, just speak up. Just say what you want to say so that we can move on. But that's how he is. And then, of course, we have Solina, our second female lead, playing Jin Young Sa. She's like a pretty down to earth girl, I think. So, I mean, she's like, she's rich, yes. But um, I don't think she's like a snooty girl. I think she's just kind of like, yeah, I'm rich. Whatever. Let's go. Let's go drink. Let's go eat. You know, just like, she's like, I work. I have my money. I work at the company. Um, whatever. When she like has a fight with her dad and is like, I'm leaving, I'm going to be independent. You see her struggle to live this like regular life, you know, this non like unlimited lifestyle. She has to give back the car to her father, just to leave her father's house. And you see her try and survive and stuff. And she's like, my God, how have you been doing this, Shinati? Like this life is very hard, you know? So 
you see her kind of go through that. We also have a lot of other people in this. Um, Lee Dokwa, he plays the chairman. So he plays Kang Tae Moo's grandfather in this. And he is so funny in this drama. Let me say something. I had seen him on variety shows and I always thought he was kind of funny. But when I was watching him on this drama, I was like, this man is a comedian, okay? Like, I know he can do all sorts of other things. Like, he's done really more serious dramas as well. But he's really good at comedy. Very funny. Loved him in this role. We also have Kim Kwang Yu in this. We we see him everywhere. He is everywhere. Okay, so he plays um Shinadi's father. There's just like a lot of people in this. Um, there's Melamence that make an appearance in this. Lee Ki Young makes an appearance in this. Okay, Huang Bora also does. I mean, there's just like a lot of people that we've seen in the dramas in this. So that's why I said, oh, this is a star-studded cast. Okay. So listen. You know, I'm going to tell you my favorite moments, okay? But I don't want to give away too many because I do really want you to watch this. I think you'll find it to be very, very cute and enjoyable. Um, Let's see. Obviously, let's start with the glasses scene, okay? This, this, this was a little crazy. This was insane when I saw this on TikTok. I had no context. And so I was like, no, what the fuck, okay? So basically... Cha Sung Hoon and Jin Young Sa um, have a very like fated to be relationship. It's very much like a love at first sight sort of thing with them. And it's very cute. It's very endearing. I love the way that I, okay, little side story. I love the way that they shoot um, the time when they first see each other. It's like, it's so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. And it really like encapsulates the perfect love at first sight sort of moment. Like they really brought that to life. So I think they did a really great job with that. But, um, for the glasses kiss scene, basically, you guys see what's happening. They're about to sleep with each other. Like, that's what's happening, okay? They are about to sleep with each other. And in order to get closer to her, he takes off his glasses. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's insane. That is insane to me. Uh, you know how they are in the dramas. They're a little prude. Well, nowadays, well, mm. They can be a little, they can be a little prude in the dramas, okay? You know how it can be. So when I saw this happening, I was like, ooh! <laughs> we're, we're upping it. We're doing a lot. We're trying to up it up. So he takes off his glasses to get closer to her. You know, they have their little moment or whatever. You know, they sleep together. And then the next day, and this is the part that really got me. The next day, she like wakes up at his place and she's just kind of like, what happened? Who was I with? What is going on? Bits and pieces are coming back to her and she's like, ah! I can't believe I just slept with this man that I've said I'm in love with, but I don't really know him. Like, I didn't, like, she's just, she's basically saying, like, I can't believe I slept with him, like, on a first date sort of situation. And so she's really pissed about that. She's more pissed at herself, you know, than anything else. And so she tries to, like, immediately run away. But he comes back with, like, soup and, like, food. And he's like, hey, so what's up? How are you? You good? Uh, do you want to eat? I brought some food, you know? And he's thinking like, oh, we're like, this is it. Like, we're in a relationship now. Like, now this is it. Like, I don't need anyone else. Like, it's you and me. And so when she tries to run out of there, he is like hurt immediately. He's kind of like, oh, okay, we're not on the same page. Okay, that's interesting. Fine. Um, I'm hurt, but all right. And so she tries to run out of there and she does, she does. And so when they come back together to like talk about it, she's like, I'm just really embarrassed that like, you know, I kind of like, Slept with you on the first date. Like, I wish I'd kind of waited a little bit longer. I don't want you to think I'm like some girl that just sleeps with everyone, you know? And he's like, he's he's literally like, what? Like, that is not what I thought at all. In fact, I thought you didn't like me. And so I was really concerned. And she was like, no, that's not what it is. I did really like the conflict in that. I'm not gonna lie. I did. I was like, oh, he's heartbroken. He brought her soup. He thinks that she doesn't like her. No, that's not what it is. Uh, it was kind of juicy. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Another really cute moment that I liked. Okay. So at this point in the drama, Kang Temu and Shinari, they're together, they're dating. They're hiding it from the company, obviously, because he's the CEO and she like works for him, right? And so they're hiding it from the company, but they go on this like little date at the amusement park or like indoor, indoor amusement park, indoor mall amusement park. I never seen anything like this before, but I'd be seeing it in the dramas all the time. So I'm like, how do you have roller coasters inside? I don't get it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So they're there at the mall amusement park and she's like, hey, what do you want to eat? I'm going to buy you something because he's always taking her to fancy meals, buying her all these fancy things and these clothes and stuff. And she's like, no, like, you know, I'm not trying to take advantage of you. I know you're super rich, but I'm going to buy something for you to show that I care. Right. And he says the most attractive thing I've ever heard in my life. This is what he says. He says, listen, 
You don't have to buy me anything. Don't worry about that, okay? Spend your time with me and I'll spend all the money. And let me tell you something. Me and Sejo were kind of like, ooh. <laughs> me and Sejo, we were both gagged by that one. I literally had to pause it. I was like, it's like, when? 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 When for me? When for me? When can I just spend my time and somebody spend their money? Oh! Pissed me off, but like also gagged me at the same time. Anyway, um, Shinati, she was kind of gagged by it. She was like, oh, okay, well. <laughs> like, oh, well, mm, I mean, whatever. <laughs> like, what do you want to do, you know? It's very, very attractive, okay? That man is super rich. This man has generational wealth. Like, the fuck are you talking about? Why am I buying? Why am I buying lunch? Why am I buying dinner? Okay, D don't play me. Anyway, I thought that was a very attractive line and a very good moment um, between them. Another really good moment. Okay, when they finally like have sex. So when they finally sleep together, this scene also kind of shook me to my core. And I really want to get in depth with this one for you guys because I saw a lot of talk about this. So when this scene first aired everyone well there was like a thread that said this is the most awkward scene i've ever seen in my life like why is on sub acting like this like it's really really awkward and i get that it was awkward but a part of me was like is it because of the way that they like choreographed it because you guys know that this shit isn't like real like everything is choreographed everything is like like down to a beat choreographed you know so a part of me is like oh is it just awkward choreography or is it really on your sub and this is what i gotta say about that whole time I was watching him I was like <sighs> it's a little awkward for me and I'm kind of like is it just a character should I re read the webtoon to see what the male lead is like like should I try and figure out Kang Tae Mu a little bit better because I was like why is he so stiff and a little awkward and why does he talk like that too like it was a little off-putting but another part of me is like oh maybe this is the character you know, maybe this is how it is for him. Because I saw him in Abyss and I didn't think he was awkward in that at all. I just thought it was terrible writing. I don't, you know how I feel about Abyss. You can go and watch my reaction to that one. But um, I was just kind of like, oh, I don't know. Like, I really, I'm not really feeling this like awkward, stoic, like person, you know? Like, I don't really, uh, it, was, it was weird. It was kind of, it was a little weird to me. However, and I gotta say this, I gotta give my props to Kim Sejong. She ate. She ate this entire drama. I was watching her like, I, I'm like, I'm like, you're genuinely a triple threat. Like you can sing, dance and act. And that is very hard. Like it's very hard to have one of these things mastered. So the fact that you got all three of them mastered, and this is sort of like the beginning years of your career. I mean, I know we've known her for a couple of years, but this is the beginning years of her career. So I'm like, we're really looking at a star right now. Like, this is like a real celebrity star, a list star in my eyes. And so I'm looking at her act in this drama. I think she's got the character down perfectly. I think her mannerisms are also really great. Like, her acting decisions for the character. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I'm taking notes as an actor. I'm like, well, shit, is this how I should be in, like, you know, close corners? Like, what? Like, what? How? like I love the way that she acted in this. And the way that she acted in this love scene, I thought was great. I was like, no, she's giving. Like, she's really trying to show affection right now. And Anhyo Sub's character is a little awkward. He's just, is awkward. And it's messing up the flow. It was messing up the flow. However, when he did pick her up, I screamed. I, mm-hmm, a thousand percent, I screamed. That's not shocking, okay? That is just the truth. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I screamed. And so when he picked her up and I was like, oh my God, it's happening. Ah! And then he put her on the table outside the room. I was like, oh, what? The pit stop before the room? If you don't get the hell, if you get the hell into that room right now. Pick it up. Like, what are we doing right now? I was so confused by that. But anyway, again, I'm like, this is choreographed kind of weird. Like, it's, it's, it's choreographed kind of weird. Or they're following exactly what happens in the webtoon. I don't know. It was just a little, it was a little awkward to see. But I did really like watching him. Uh, pick up Sejong. So that's why I'm talking about it. Because I thought that moment was really good. But as a whole, it was kind of a little crazy. And I need to know what you thought about that as well. Did you think that that love scene between them was a little awkward? And that Anya So was a little too awkward with it? And he was awkward throughout this whole drama? I really want to know your opinions on that. Guys, what did you think about this drama? Although I had some, you know, qualms with maybe the acting and the awkwardness, I will say I really enjoyed this. I loved watching Kim Sejong in this. I think she was so 
phenomenal, an absolute star. So now I'm like, I gotta go watch whatever else she's in and whatever else she does, you know? So what did you guys think about this? Okay, you can comment below, you can tweet at me, and I'll be back with another reaction. Bye, guys.